So then I keep on scrolling, keep on scrolling, looking at the messages. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like I believe what this was saying. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kenzie J coming at you with another video. As y'all saw in my last clips, I was dyeing my hair. I did the Dream Doll Arrogant Tate inspired um, skunk piece where you have the blonde piece, like one section of the hair right here. Yeah. So we are going to be doing a Get Ready With Me story time. So, yeah, I'm going to tell y'all how I caught my nigga cheating on me, y'all. Yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. Life goes on. But we're going to get into this story time because it's juicy. I'm crazy. I don't know what's going on. Y'all just vibe with me and y'all let me know. Please subscribe to your girl channel. It's your girl, Kenzie J. Hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friend. And let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, yeah. So, boom. It was like two years ago, yeah. So, at that time, I was working at the um, post office. And my bar friend, he had just started working there as well. So, at this time, we had been going through a rough patch. Just rough. It was something after the other. It was always arguing. It was always getting into it. It was always something. So, yeah, boom. Yeah, so I told my friend, I was like, something not right. Like, something just don't feel right. I feel like he cheating on me. But I don't want to check. You know, women, we have the intuition. So we just know, like, something going on. Something ain't right, yeah. So I was like, something not right. And we was already going through a bad space anyway. So I was like, it's just, he, he just not, not doing nothing. Like, she was like, girl, you better go on that phone and check. I was like, I don't check phones, yeah. I don't, yeah. Mm. So I was like, I don't check phones. I don't check phones. She was like, girl, go check that phone. Because once you find, uh, you're going to find what you're looking for. I was like, okay. So, yeah. It was like his, um, it was like his third day at work. So, if you work at the post, if you have worked at the post office, you know you work six days a week, 12 hours a day, mandatory. They have up to one hour before you your shift is over the two. You have to work an additional four hours. So they have been working him 12 since he's been there. It's already concrete floor, so it's he tired. So I'm just giving y'all a little backstory because he was tired. So once he come home, he take a shower, go straight to sleep. So I was like, hmm. I had already been working there for like two years, so I was used to it. I wasn't tired anymore, nothing like that. So I was like, I'm going to wait till he go to sleep and I'm going to check. Something had happened, y'all. That made me want, that made me go look for it. I don't know what had happened. I forgot. But I was like, okay, I'm going to go look because he got me up. So <laughs> I had waited till he was asleep, of course, like a nigga. He sleep with his phone. He slept with his phone up under the pillow. So I was waiting till he was dog tired, like sleep, y'all. So me, I started crawling. Start crawling on the floor. <laughs> I start crawling on the floor. So yeah, yeah, I start crawling on the floor like the pink panther. I'm using my morph, um, chocolate mousse for my eyebrows. So yeah, I start crawling on the floor like a pink panther because I ain't want him to see me, y'all. So I slid my hand. He he was tired, y'all. So he was in a deep sleep. I slid my hand up under the pillow. I grabbed the phone. He had a code on there. I ain't know the code. So I, I took his finger. I put it on his phone. Bitch, open, open sesame because the motherfucker came open, y'all. I was sorry. Oh, shit. So I hurry up and crawl. I hurry up and crawl back to the bathroom. I have a I had a bathroom attached to my, um, my bedroom. So I hurry up and crawled in the bathroom. So, yeah, went through the messages. Nothing. Went to Facebook. Um, the Facebook messages. Nothing. I was like, you know what? Niggas sneaky. Let me think like a nigga. So, yeah. I went to Snapchat. 
Now, let me tell y'all how smart I am, because niggas think they could get over on you, but you smart, but I'm smart. So, I went to Snapchat, and I didn't see that there. There wasn't nothing enough with messages, but nothing from his friends and stuff, y'all. Yeah. So, yeah, so I didn't see nobody in there but his friends. I'm like, okay, you smart, you smart. I know you done deleted your messages, but what they don't tell you is on Snapchat, if you go to the messages it'll have pictures or in the names of people who you don't been recently talking to the conversation may be gone but their name go still be right there it's the, like the little favorites hmm. so i clicked on one of the names and i had um it wasn't no messages right there so if you scroll if you pull the messages down on snapchat it'll tell you um, if you pull the messages down on Snapchat, it'll t it'll show like the recent conversations. Like for some reason, I don't know if there's a glitch or something with Snapchat, but it don't completely erase or whatever. So I pull the messages down, and bitch, open sesame. My heart dropped to my drawers, y'all. Like y'all won't believe. The stuff I saw on that phone. <sighs> yeah, my little feelings was hurt so bad. Boom, went to the first girl. Hey, baby, what you doing? I love you. I want to see you. Um, and she was like, you got a girlfriend? He was like, nah, you my girlfriend. All this. I'm like, damn. We doing our time like that? Yeah, like, baby, I'm, you my girlfriend. Uh, that ain't my girlfriend. You my girlfriend. I'm like, damn. Niggas, this ruthless. Like, this how we doing our time? Yeah, we we was together for, at that time, we had been together for like seven years. Seven years out of my little precious life. And this what the fuck you do to me? Huh? Don't get me wrong. We had been going through all of stuff. So, I had been talking to other people too. So, I mean, I really couldn't get mad. But some of the stuff that he was saying to them, I went, I went there say that to another dude. Like, that's law. Like, you, no. Like, that sound like you giving your heart to somebody. Like, I ain't your girlfriend. You my girlfriend. I know you're trying to run game. What kind of game you running? Like, no. So, then, yeah, I was like, damn. So I go to the next one. I'm like, oh, well, I mean, I'm already in too deep now. Might as well keep on going. So I go to the next thing. He write her, baby. Oh, so everybody your baby, huh? Everybody your baby on here. So then I keep on scrolling, keep on scrolling, looking at the messages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I believe what this was said. He was like, I want to come see you. I want you to sit on my face. Skirt, what? At this point, yeah, I got, you know, how the little steam come out your ears, nose, all that. I was mad. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. You done touched the wrong motherfucking button now because you got me fucked up. You got me real fucked up. So... At this point, I ain't even want to read no more. I screenshotted them. While I'm screenshotting them and sending them to myself. Because niggas going to deny it. The proof could be right there in your face, in their face. And they still going to deny it. Like, girl, niggas would deny anything. So I screenshotted to myself. Because if you go, yeah, so yeah. I already knew he was going to lie. So I went ahead and sent the bitches, uh, the um, screenshots to myself. So, yeah, at this point, I just see bread. I'm mad, like all sense that I had done went out the door because I feel like you just played me. Like, I feel like I just caught you cheating in front of my face. Like, I feel like you in the act of cheating right now in front of me. So, I'm heated. So, all I see is real, y'all. So, I go in the kitchen. I grab a knife. He's still asleep. I go in there. I grab the knife. This is my knife, y'all. I tap him on the forehead like this. He wake up, jump up. What you doing? 
I grab my phone. Hold on. This is my phone, yeah. I grab my phone. I see. What's this? What you talking about? Oh, what you talking about? I don't know. What you Who the fuck is this? He get big eyed now. He done woke up. All senses that came to him. He know I done went in his phone. That ain't nothing. Why you going through my phone? Oh, uh, that what? That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Yeah. I was about to slice him at this point. Because now you playing with me. You lying in my face. And I'm sitting here with the screenshots in front of you. Now you playing with me. I don't like that. Don't, don't play with me. Don't, don't play with my intelligence. Don't play with my feelings. So, yeah, at this point, I grabbed the knife. I got to stick out the knife in my hand. I'm about to get ready to take a slice of his motherfucking ass. He jump up, push me, boom. Start, uh, he take off running. I start chasing him with the knife. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy. Like, don't, once you get me to that point, it's over with it because... Your life is in danger. Yeah, don't play with my intelligence because I'm sitting here showing you right here. You playing with me. So, yeah, he took off running. And I took off running towards him because I'm going to slice this motherfucking ass up because you playing with me. Like, at least be honest about it. Be like, yeah, we going through something. Or, yeah, I did that. I'm sorry. Try to apologize, but don't sit there and lie to my face. Don't lie to my face. I hate that. Like, no. So he take off running in the um in the living room, chasing him with the knife. So I start, yeah, I'm about to slice him. He be like, quit playing. I mean, quit going, girl. You you crazy? What you doing? Oh, da, da, da. So I'm getting closer and closer to him. Like it's a scary move. Like uh, 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 like bitch, you finna die. Cause what is you doing? Don't play with me. Don't have me out here looking stupid to these bras. Cause they probably laughing in my face, and I don't even know. I don't know at all. So then he took off running outside. So we stay in like apartments. Um, like, well, it's just, we stay in townhouses. So it's like a townhouse side by side. So he take off running. Yeah, this is bad. But at the heat of the moment, I was mad. So he take off running outside. I have my daughter. I had my daughter with me. I only had one child at that time. Yeah, so my daughter, she was like five at the time. Yeah, so he took off running. So I hurry up and grabbed her. Put her in the car. And I started going after him. Because, yeah, at this point, all I see is red. And to this point, I still regret doing all that in front of my daughter. Yeah, don't ever, don't ever show your daughter or your kids that side of you why you like that. Because they just show, it's just showing them, like, what you had to go through. Like, don't, don't take them through that. It's just stressful. But to this day, I still regret that. But at the time, yeah, I didn't give a fuck. So, yeah, I put her in the car. And I took off running out there, so we had a hill. So he was running at the. By the time I got in the car and started chasing him, he was already running down the hill. So I saw him. My crazy ass took the car, started, <laughs> started going after him up the hill with my car. I was trying to hit him. I was trying to run him over. Like he was gonna die that day. He was gonna die. That's how mad I was, yeah. So <laughs> he uh. I was, I was chasing him with the car up and down the hill, and his brother stayed, like, on the other street. So, he got away from the car and took our friend to his brother's house. And at this point, I had, uh, uh, I had, I had Drody, I, so I started following him with the car. So, yeah, yeah, he runs to his brother's house, like, oh, you think I'm scared of your brother? You think I'm scared of your brother? I see red right now. I don't care about nothing, like, none of that. So, boom, he go he run to his brother's house and lock himself inside his brother's room. His brother was there. He, I guess he hit, by the time he ran there, he had to tell his brother what's going on. So, his brother done ran up to my cousin. What's going on? So, they like, he don't know. So, he come on, what's going on? What's going on? What you doing? Trying to hold me back. I'm like, move. Get out the way. We gonna call him Max. Move, Max. Get out the way. Move. Because I'm gonna fuck him up. He's like, no, I'm not, I can't let you do that. You doing all that in my house. I can't let you do that. You like, can't let me do what? Because I'm going to do what I want to do. At this point, you can get beat up too. So his brother was trying to get in my way. So I'm looking up to his brother like, move, get out the way. Move, I'll hit you too. Like, move, like, let me get, get, let me get to him. That's between me and us. She ain't got nothing to do with it. I don't know why he ran over here anyway. 
He was like, nah, nah, I can't let you do that. I can't let you do that. So I end up getting, so I end up like squaring up, trying to square up with his brother, but his brother wouldn't let me. Yeah, I feel bad about that. So I moved his brother out the way and there was a girl standing at the door. She saw how mad I was. She was like, girl, let me get out the way. So she moved out the way and let me in the door. So I mean, he's out of rent to his brother's house, found the room he was in. So I started beating on the door. I started kicking the door, kicking it. I'm finna break his brother doing down. Yeah, like, I could have went to jail that night. He was like, tell you, go on, go on, go on, get out the way. Like, move, move, what you doing? Like, you acting crazy. You doing all that. Mind you, yeah, he worked third shift. So at this time, it's time for him to go to work. But what job you finna go to? Nobody's because you're going to die tonight. Period. So. Hold on, yeah. Look at him. Oh, uh, yeah. Because who job you can go to? Nobody's because you're going to die. Like, you, no. It's like, like what did you do? What was you doing? Yeah, I didn't even know. This motherfucker done called my mama. So I'm over there beating the door down. The brother's still trying to get me off his door for breaking his door down. Beating it, I almost like broke the hinges off. That's how mad I was, yeah. And um, my whole time, my baby's still in the car, yeah. She just don't know what's going on. I feel so bad. Like I should have did all that. I should have been a parent, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, and then apologize later. So I had mom. So I'm putting up beating the door down. My mama pull up. <laughs> why is my mama doing her why why is you her like girl then she go cut to me so the brother trying to get me off the door my mama pull up i'm sitting here looking crazy but i ain't even reminding her right now because i'm mad i see red so she could talk about some, yeah get off the door what is you doing you at somebody else's house you trying to go to jail you got a child i'm like no but he go die because he got me messed up yeah, I'm not here trying to hear nothing. Now, what are y'all trying to say? Like, what's y'all trying to tell me that right now that can make me stop? Nothing. So then my mama tried to start getting me off the door. Yeah, I, uh, I knew at this moment I was mad and I was bucking the system. She done tried to pull me off the door. I done started bucking up to my mama. <laughs> I had a death wish that day, y'all. Like, I ain't never. I don't care how grown I am or how big I am. Yeah, I always respect my mama. But at that moment, I didn't even care. Like, I didn't see I didn't see her. Like, I was a different person, really. Like, I don't know what was going on with me. Like, he had me that mad. And, yeah, just, if you watching this, don't ever let no man or nobody get you out of character like that. Because that's just showing you, how, that's just showing them how much power they got over you. And I never do that again, cause nah, that ain't it. So yeah, I started booking up to my mama. So she was like, "What? What you gonna do? What? What? What?" I'm like, "Move! Get out my way! Like, what is you doing? Get out the way! This ain't got nothing to do with you." She was like, "You got a child out there. Do you want to go to jail over with a man? Get in the car. Come on." So yeah, I finally calmed down. She finally made me calm down. She said something about my child, like. When she says about my child, all senses, all my senses came back. So I got to, I got to call my mama. She took me to her house. Yeah, I got in the car. I still having a panic attack. Like that's how mad I was. Like I'm still heated. I can't breathe. Like I wanted to kill somebody. Like I feel like I don't know. I just feel like you. I'm been played with. Like. I don't know. It's just something about feeling like being played. Like, no, you ain't going to play with me. And I know I was good to you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. You played me like that. And you tell, you tell another girl you could, she could sit on your face? You, got, you playing with my pH balance, too? No. Mm-mm. So, I'm in the car. I'm having a panic attack. Like, all type of stuff going through my mind. Like, at that point, I had lost myself. I had lost all sense of everything. Like, I couldn't believe I had just did that. But I'm glad my mama came and got me out because I probably would have been going to jail that night. Like, I really wanted to kill him. Like, I really wanted to off him. Like, that's how mad I was. That's how mad I was, y'all. So, 
she got me. She took me to her house. I just had to, I had to breathe in and out. I had to roll the windows down because yeah, I feel like my chest was caving in. I couldn't breathe. That was my first panic attack because I was mad. I was dead mad. And yeah, so I went to my mama's house, calmed down. She sat down and had a talk with me. She was like, don't let nobody ever take your power like that. Don't let nobody ever see you that mad, make you sweat, lose your freedom or your good your good federal job, all that. Because I could have lost all that in the of an eye just because I caught a nigga cheating on me. But now, now that I have grown up, it's been like three years later, you don't, don't know about I'll never get that out of me no more. Like, I don't care what the situation is. You will never, you will never get that out of me no more. Like, you feel like you just took everything out of me because I turned into a whole different person. I was on demon time for real, for real. Like, no, don't ever play with me. I ain't gonna never say never, but now, knowing what I know now and that I've grown, no, I ain't gonna never let nobody put me in a situation like that again because it could have went real sideways. He could have been dead. I could have been in jail. And my child could have been in foster care or something. And I just pray, thank God, that my mama came and rescued me because I don't know. But, yeah, yeah, I know y'all crazy when a nigga call their mama on you to come get you. <laughs> no, you don't call nobody. Mama, I'm grown. So you don't call my mama. Mm. But, yeah, yeah, that's my story. I got cheated on, y'all. Yeah, yeah comment down below if y'all had anything similar to that or went through something like that that i did because yeah that was a crazy time in my life um i ended up making him lose his job which i still had my job because i had when that happened i had just got off work so i had already finished the day but who knew i was gonna get out work that day and be on some bullshit like who knew but yep, after that, y'all, I put him out. Moved, uh, I put him out, and we had broke up. Never let a man or nobody play with you like that. If you're in a situation like that, just remove yourself expeditiously before you do something that's going to put you, your child, or just put yourself in. A bad situation at the end of the day because at that time you don't be thinking you just see red and that's not what that's not what's up so i hope y'all enjoy my story time i'm about to finish um my makeup and my hair well i'm done with my makeup yeah i just did like a little soft beat i'm actually at work right now talking to y'all so i'm gonna put on my eyelashes real quick Oh. And shot with my cousin, y'all. Look at these lashes, like, period. I'm, I'm gonna tag her um, Instagram down below. But yeah, yeah, I shot with my cousin because these lashes is bomb as fuck. And I don't know how to put my lashes on with the tweezers, so that hurt. They say if you put your lashes on with your hands, you crazy. Which, by my story time, y'all can already tell. I ain't got them all. I'm I'm losing some missing some marbles. So My little big lashes, y'all, like, ooh, they just, I don't know. I feel like they just make my face. Yep, so when I get finished with my hair, um, that's the end of the story time. I hope you all enjoyed. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said, comment down below if you have went through something similar and how you overcame it. And y'all just let me know if I was wrong or not, which I knew I was in some scenarios. But sometimes you can't let people play with you. So, and I want to let nobody play with me. So, 
yeah, it is what it is. So, but y'all let me know down below. Yeah, but let me know if I was wrong or just let me know if y'all would have did something different or if I handle it, how the fuck I was supposed to handle it. I don't know. Y'all give me feedback. But I'm finna go ahead and do my hair. Once I do my hair, I'll get back on here so y'all can see the finished results. Hold on. Let me put it back up. Yeah, so, so y'all can see the finished results. If y'all seen it in the last clips, this was me dying. The little skunk looked like I was telling y'all, but I'm finna go ahead and curl it. And show y'all how I look at the end. So. All right, again, I hope you all enjoyed that story time. I hope you enjoyed this. Get ready with me. Let me know that. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you like this, and we could do some more. Um, let me know if you like this dream doll inspired Eric and Tay hairstyle. Yeah, I love Eric and Tay. So everything that he do, I'ma try on myself. Cause why not? I still hair. This is my body wave hair. I made it into a wig. So these are bundles made into a wig by myself. Please check my website down below to get this look if you would like. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. It's your girl, Kenzie J. See you next time.